got so angry till he prayed, God, I'm gonna kill these, I'm gonna kill these, I'm gonna kill them. Now, man, you, he swore, he said, God, you have to take me out first before I let them leave you. You want these men gotta go. They gotta go tonight. They gotta go because in the morning I don't want nobody breathing. Amen. And so he involved this heat. And so sometimes we, as women and men of God, think about getting even. We sit back and we plot. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna tell the truth up in here and shame the devil. There's a lot of people I've set up and plotted in my mind what to do to, how to do it, and when to do it. Oh yeah, because this one right here used to wait on you. I waited when you thought everything was alright. And I got you. Amen? I was sitting, and wait a minute, this was, I was good for this. This is good was me. I'm going to get you. Oh, it wasn't no sneaky. I, no, I'm coming to you. I'm going to get you. You <laughs> and I'll be laughing. I got you. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay, I got you. And when I came, I was coming to get you, and you knew I was coming. Amen. Amen. David said, "Look, I'm taking them out. God, you look. You got to kill me to keep me from taking them out. Amen. And so look, look, look. So Abigail, the good wife, knowing her husband is an idiot." came in to intercede. When Abigail saw David, she quickly got off her donkey and bowed low before him. She fell at his feet and said, I accept all the blame in this matter, my Lord. Please listen to what I have to say. She took all the blame. She took all the blame. Because see, I'm going to tell you the truth. It wasn't that she was covering Nate. She was covering everybody else. And then, and she knew that David was coming to take everybody out. So sometimes we stand in the gap for people. We take hits for people just because we love them. We take the hits. We stand in the gap. We fight for people that don't even deserve to live. They don't even deserve to stay out of prison. They don't deserve, deserve to stay out of jail. They don't deserve when we go in and we stay in. We didn't talk to them till they blew, we blew in the face. We didn't told them to get their life together till we blew in the face. Please get your life together. Please do this. And they stay sitting. Wah, 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 wah. That's how you hear it. Just get out of my ear. The scatterbrain spirit coming. You can't hear nothing that they say. The whisperer spirit said, she just trying to tell you what to do with the loose here. You grown. You ain't got to listen to her. You grown. You the man. Your mama over there, over there. You don't listen to her. She ain't your mama. My mama dead and gone. This is what the devil be telling you. Listen, 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 hold on. My mama live all the way over, uh, 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 over there. I don't have to listen to you. Right. Would you, would you my wife, or you, would you, would you, would you, would you, my wife, or you, my, what, you hear me? <laughs> and God said, I'm trying, I'm sending warning. That's right, come on now. If he used a donkey, he didn't use anything. Amen. Come on, Amen. But sometimes when we so puffed up in pride, we can't hear what the Spirit of the Lord is trying to say. Trying to say to us, we don't want to hear. Once pride get in, you can't hear from God. I don't care what nobody say. Amen. When pride take over and I mean overtake you, you don't hear from God. You hear from that whispering spirit, that spirit to tell you you're okay. I'm good. I'm anointed. I'm okay. God said, I'm trying to tell you you ain't okay. You about to die. <laughs> and your whole family about to die with you because they up under you. Your church about to die. Y'all better run for us run. Because my glory then left the building. My glory left the building. Because I told him to touch not my anointing. He knew better to keep putting his mouth on that one. That one. Now, he could have talked about that one over there. Because that wasn't the one I called. That ain't the one I'm talking You talked about that Oh, you in trouble. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amen. So let's, 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 let
So, 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 anyway, he said, he, she said, she said, uh, look, a no neighbor is a wicked and ill-tempered man. Please don't pay no attention to him. He is a fool. See, she knew it. She said, look, my husband is a fool. He's an idiot. But I'm still pleading his call. But listen, listen, this is something behind this now. He said, he's a fool. Now that already lets you know she didn't like him, right? You don't call your husband no fool unless you don't like him. I can't stand him, he's a fool. Oh my God, he's a, I can't stand him. Just as his name suggested. So his name meant fool. <laughs> Neighbor was his name and his name meant fool. Okay, but I never even saw the young men you sent. She said, I didn't even see them because if you would have sent me, it would have came to me. I would have gave him the fool. This wouldn't even be happening right now because I ain't like him. Sometimes you can be part of your own stuff. Sometimes you can be connected to somebody that you ain't nothing like and you didn't entwine yourself with evil. Jesus. You didn't connect it with evil and because they evil, people going to consider you evil. Because they ain't right. You couldn't be right because the uh, birds of the feather flock together. That's why it's so, it's so important that you worry about who you connect with. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you hang with a hoe, they're going to think you a hoe. Amen. Amen. Amen? If you hang with an idiot, they're going to think you're an idiot. But, but, uh, you, can't, you can't convince me that you're a good person. Now hang on with that. Come on. You can't tell me that. Well, I just, and we just feel sorry for him. So we stick with him. We stay with him. We don't want them to look bad. <laughs> but they got you looking real bad. I don't want to let them be embarrassed. But you embarrassed. She said, please, I'm so shy, I'm so shy. He's a fool. His name is a fool. He's a fool. Please, please. I, I didn't know. Sometimes people, they go out here and get in some mess. You don't even know what they didn't get in. And all of a sudden, you got to pay the consequences for somebody else's mess. You put your name on it, though. You put your name on it. Uh-huh. I didn't know, though. No, oh, because you got mesmerized by the something. I ain't gonna say across the airway. Something. He doing your ear good, he did something. And you forget all about checking his record. To see where he really came from. I wanna check your background. Can I get your social security number? Can I please find out? Did you ever do anything? Did you murder somebody? Right. Nah, I want him to be my baby daddy. Yeah. We lay up and have all these babies, y'all, by. Jesus. Then we don't know, we don't know our name when we when he do with us. I don't know my name. <laughs> you hear me? You don't know your name, you don't know your you you done lost everything being with that one. He has some money, though. He bought me this. He got me. Oh. Where them dollars at? <laughs> <laughs> Where them dollars at, please? Uh. And all you care about is the dollars. And he tell you, well, baby, see, I can. Now, I'm going to meet me and you. You know me and you. Know, and baby, I can do. And yeah. yeah. But it's a price for that, baby. Yeah, yeah. Are you willing to dare deal with that price? Yeah. It was a price for them dollars at. It was a price for them dollars. Amen. Amen. So listen, listen. I, I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, so listen, listen. Where we at? Where we at? Now, my Lord, as surely as the Lord lives and you yourself live, we're in 26, since the Lord has kept you from murdering and taking vengeance, into your own hand. Let all your enemies and those who have who try to harm you be cursed as Nabal is. 
God, did did y'all understand what she just said to him? She told him, look, if you leave that Negro alone, he already cursed with a curse. God already got that. Don't you touch it. Don't you put your hand in it. Then you gonna be guilty of sin. Then you gonna be guilty of messing up. Leave that Negro alone. And surely, as you live, and Jesus lived, he got you and he got your enemies. They cursed, and Nabal is cursed. Do you understand? God don't need your help in getting them Negroes back. He don't need your help. He don't even need you to open your mouth. Turn around and go back home and sit down. And sit down, hold your peace, and let the Lord fight your battle. Y'all ain't understanding me when I tell y'all this. This ain't nothing I thought of. This is something God has made me do night after night, day after day. Yeah, set out to get you. In the car. Driving. I'm going to get you. Because I didn't allow the enemy to take over and say they treat you like a punk. You acting like a punk. Get them. Call somebody. Call Tyrone. Call somebody. Tell them to meet you over there. Listen. She told me. The wife told me. Listen. God used something that was close to him to prophesy to somebody else to let him know his, he, he, his, his days are numbered, baby. He's in doom, baby. Everything he done, he messed with the wrong one today. See, all he done got away with all these years, dogging people, mistreating people, he messed with the wrong one today. So he cursed and anybody else can come your way. Look, just hold your peace. This is what she telling me. This is what she telling me. Y'all listen to me. There's some people that did y'all wrong. There's some people that dogged you when you was down. Some people that mistreated you. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Don't take revenge. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Go in. Go in. And here is a present that I, your servant, have brought you and your men, please forgive me if I have offended you in any way. The Lord will surely reward you with a lasting destination, destiny. For you are fighting the Lord's battle. Do you hear what she said? Yeah. You're on the Lord's side. You're doing this. You're, on, you're in the Lord's army. You think God ain't going to reward you for this? This ain't, this ain't nothing you doing on your own. You ain't out here on your own. You out here because God sent you out here. You out here because God, you hear me? Listen, God ordained and anointed David to be king. God put David in a bad position. Y'all got to understand me. When you say yes, you get put in a bad position. Because listen, where niggas wouldn't have never messed with you before, they coming. As soon as you say yes, that's when everybody coming. Somebody coming to throw you off. Enemies come out of nowhere. Things you never thought you experienced, you start experiencing when you were in the Lord's army. Amen? Amen. Not because you did nothing wrong. Because you enlisted in his army in order to reign with him as the what? Suffer with him. Gotta take your car cross up. He suffered for this thing. Amen. So listen. Now this woman was prophesying. She's actually literally prophesizing to another man. God was setting some things up. Y'all better hear me. Nabal didn't know what was about to hit him. He was, listen, 